Especially with these academics. And check it out, man. Because um, there's a university in Texas called Prairie View A&M University where a student is claiming that her computer science teacher tried to get that pussy basically for a grade. Now, her name is Lisa Mims. Her teacher's name is, and by the way, he's 76. He's 76. And obviously, she's like in her 20s. Now, basically, his name is J.D. Oliver. And apparently, after she realized that she was failing her computer science class, she tried to approach a teacher towards the end of the semester, trying to see if there was anything she could do to increase her grade and, of course, pass the class. Now, apparently, J.D. Oliver, he was actually, the professor was kind of attracted to her. Now, apparently, she got some big old titties. And apparently, the professor said, well, you trying to get that grade up, shouty? You trying to get that grade up? So basically, they met a couple of times. The professor complimented on how she looked and basically said, listen, I'm going to cut you a deal, okay? This is the Shark Tank, okay? If you come to my hotel on Saturday, you know what? We're going to turn this into some sweet pussy Saturday. We're going to actually, we're going to make this up. You, you could put in whatever grades you want. You could write down your goddamn A. Now, obviously, Lisa Mims wasn't with the fuckery because um, she did show up. So she showed up to the hotel, except she showed up with her boyfriend and, of course, two local goons. Now, this is where the story kind of twists, and this is where um, there's conflicting reports. Now, apparently, she walked in. She said she basically busted him with her boyfriend and basically said, yo, listen, we got this everything on tape. They even took pictures. They had Magnum condoms. <laughs> A 76-year-old man using Magnums? Okay. He had Magnum condoms ready because he was ready to donkey fuck his student and basically give her a neck. Now, obviously, they busted him, and basically, they left afterwards. Now, here's the thing, because he then called the police, and he said, yo, these hooligans actually came in and robbed me. He said they robbed him for $9,000 and also his car keys, also his phone, and also cash. Now, apparently, um, he also has a story for why he was at a hotel, because that sounds fishy. Why the fuck are you at a hotel conveniently and telling students to meet you at your goddamn hotel? Now, he said, wait, 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 I got an explanation, and this is the professor. He said, listen, actually, she was coming back to me to return a book. I lent her a book. So she was bringing it to my hotel, and um, the reason I was in a hotel was... uh. My carpets were being cleaned at home, so I was just ha conveniently had a hotel. Now, the truth probably lies somewhere in between. I believe that, listen, yes, he did think it was sweet pussy Saturday, and he was actually trying to donkey fuck Lisa Mims, and he probably thought that she was that type of chick. Now, I'm probably thinking that for some reason, because apparently they met several times, she gave off the impression that she might be complicit in getting donkey fucked for a grade, which, listen, man, if anybody's been to college, right? It's a very powerless feeling when you are not doing good in the class and you're going to teach for help. It could be office hours or whatever the case is. Usually you realize that the teachers, they either don't give a fuck or they realize how basically powerful they are. So maybe she was kind of like uh, trying to agree to everything and maybe not particularly to get fucked, but kind of agreeing to everything to say, yo, okay, 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 how could I pass, how could I pass, until she really saw it was serious, you walk up in a hotel room, motherfucker got some goddamn lube, and some Trojan condoms, and that wrinkly ass dick, you, you, you now start thinking, okay, this motherfucker is way out of here, so, it was a good thing she brought her boyfriend along, they did actually get arrested, because he did call it in saying they robbed him, and basically, they were not charged though, because it was a no bill at uh, the grand jury, so, the teacher right now, I believe he's either suspended or he is fired. Because, come on now. I mean, they got some proof. Regardless of the case, even if she was like, okay, I'll agree to it. You're a teacher. You can't make that proposition in the first place. And it would be way too ironic or suspicious if she knew where you lived without you inviting her over. Then she shows up with other males just to rob you, knowing that you have to give her a grade. Come on now. Come on. So, listen, man, what do you guys think about this? Hey, we usually do stories about these young hot teachers who are females who are trying to fuck these kids who are like 17, 18. And we're like, hey, what's the problem? But in this case, we got a 76-year-old man who's probably, this is some disgusting shit. <laughs> Imagine this being done to, like, your sister. So, I mean, hopefully she'll uh, um, skate out of this good. And um, apparently, hopefully, he'll realize that this type of fuckery just cannot be tolerated. What do you guys think? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. Sporty Academics. I'm out.